Hey there guys, it's Salus, and welcome back to the Mists of Pandaria. And I'm sorry we're not back at exactly where we were before, but the game kind of crashed a little bit, and all the footage was kind of ruined. But long and short of it, we surrendered my lunch back to Mr. Toran Guy, and were sent out here to find this guy. Time is money, friend. Michael Bay. And now that we've got him on board, we've been sent to do this. We can help you get your ship free, but we'll need more of the explosives we were trying to take back from the Alliance to make it happen. Well, I honestly didn't think anything less, Michael Bay, than explosions. I ordered the men to grab all the explosives they could before making our escape. If you sift through the wreckage and bodies to our south, there should be some explosive bundles among them. Those that didn't already blow up, anyway. Get me enough of them, and I think we can put something together for you. It's called Transformers 73. Keep it real! And, as ever, we're joined by Mr. I'm so hard, I can't shut up. Welcome. I do not know what this evil is that's infesting the forest, Salis. But I know exactly how to deal with it. Would it involve smacking them in the face by any chance? So do you, I think. Well, considering it's your default action for everything. So let's find some special effects. Apparently Michael Bay also did all the special effects for Twilight because they're sparkly too. Punch him in the face. Have some of that. Good night, sweetheart. And celebrate with beer. As we brewmasters do. <laughs> Have a beer. I know that's essentially the most useless thing I've done at the moment, but I just love throwing beer at things. And have a punch in the face. And have a punch in the face. And good night, sweetheart. Oh, there's special effects over here. And dead guy. But I've got a punch of dude in the face. With beer. I do not have enough energy. Stop standing in face, guys. There we go. I got three of eight. There is going to be a lot of smacking dudes in the face here, I think. Right, more special effects for Michael Bay. To be fair, as long as I haven't been asked to get robot testicles, I'm fine. Yeah. Not enough energy. And punches in the face. Or what drunk people call Saturday night. Seriously. A Saturday night in Pandaria must be absolutely awesome. They all get drunk and have a fight. And my feet will kill you. Right here. I do not have enough energy. Feel the beer. Oh, hello, horrible terror thing. Dark and horror. Seriously, they couldn't think of a, a name for these creatures, they just called it a dark and horror. And one. And two. And three. And four. Good night, sweetheart. Two more. Just gotta kill two more of these nameless creatures. Oh, this is the dark and terror. Okay, fair enough. Slightly different name. Not enough energy. We shall have no dark and terrorists. Thank you very much, sir. Terrorist down. And have a beer. I do not have enough energy. And a kick to the face. And a kick to the face. Not enough energy. 
Good night, sweetheart. Quest complete. Here we go. Okay, right. First, we'll hand in the non-stupid quest. Although, be it given by a stupid I'm with person. You. you make me proud, Silas. You make all of us proud. You have truly mastered smack it in the face. And I get boots for that. Which is interesting, because I think I mostly use my fists to do it. Right, put those. Right, Michael Bay, what have you got? Hey, how you doing? You're in one piece. You sound surprised. That's a good sign, you think. Did you get your hands on what I asked for? Yes, but I didn't get your ha didn't get my hands on what you need. More than enough. I've got the main control panel constructed. We should be ready very soon. So hold on. Let me get this straight. There is a boat jammed in the shell of a turtle. And this goblin's plan to get rid of the boat jammed into the side of a giant living creature is blow it the hell up. How's that going to work out, do you think? Oh well. Have a good one. Bing. I'm level 11. Oh, new ability. What have we got? Keg smash. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. You swing a keg of brew. <laughs> nice. Dealing 71 damage, 3 enemies within 8 yards. Also drenches the target in your dizzying haze and applies the weakened blows effects. Generates 2 chi. So wait a minute. That's dizzying haze. That does the same thing, and we've got them within one level. Seems kind of redundant. Just saying. The greatest virtue is the will to act. I'm sure Isa won't love this plan. Does it involve smacking dudes again? But it's the only plan we've got. Would you mind being the bearer of bad news for me, Silas? She needs to know what we're doing so she can get everyone to safety. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, to be fair, I'm glad I'm not sending him because he wouldn't get the message across. He'd just have sex. Speak to Delora Lionheart at the wreck of the Sky Seeker. Right, it's time to get over to Isa, Master of the I Don't Have a Tushy, and we'll see what we're doing regarding an evac plan. Come on. Wreck of the Sky Seeker, here we are. Yeah, you know, this is rather odd that the two are so close to each other, Alliance and Horde. Just saying. This isn't a conjoined effort. But it's nice to see they've got... Uh, ooh, they've actually got worse. They've got deep-scale Tormentors. So the Horde kind of got it easy on this one. Oh, here he is. Jojo McDerpy. And seriously, what is up with the lighting on her? Is she some kind of angel or something? You are welcome among us, Pandaren. Yeah, I'm also welcome amongst the Horde. That's not a problem, is it? Your friend is fighting to save my crew fiercely, I might add. I'm afraid your message will have to wait. I don't think so. They're about to blow you the hell up. I like a friendly face. Your friend has been doing everything she can to save my crew. I'm deeply appreciative. We're still dealing with more than we can handle here. Quenching the fires on the wreckage, getting my people out, fighting off these evil sea creatures, and trying to prevent the prisoners from escaping. We're simply in over our heads. I still have men on the ship that we need to get clear before the wreckage collapses on them. I know this is asking a lot, but can you help? Well, if I didn't, the game couldn't progress, could it? You have our favour, Pandaren. Medical supplies. We need supplies to tend to our wounded, but the supply crates containing them were scattered in the crash. If you can bring back any crates you find, I'd be very grateful. I like a friendly face. Right. Jojo, how's that head injury working out? Slow down. Oh, it made you slow down. Fair enough. After their ship crashed, evil creatures swept up from the seas to pick through the wreckage. Our aid may seem but a drop in the pond. But the thought of the misfortune they face today. Defeat their tormentors. These people desperately need our help. White Tiger, watch over you. Seriously, why is everyone's go-to move smack it in the face? 
Be more like Captain Picard, try diplomacy first. That spell is not ready for that. Have some of this. Oh, I, I like that keg smash ability. It is fun as hell. Oh, I know who will appreciate beer. A dwarf. I do not have enough energy. I'll have to fight on side dwarves because they appreciate beer almost as much as I do. <laughs> well, that is the panda way. Bonding over beer. Okay, we've got lots of injured people here. But what am I going to do to those injured sailors rescued? Okay, fair enough. I'm guessing I can't roll with them. Oh, I can actually, I'll just crush them. That, strictly speaking, is against health and safety. It's like, okay, you're going to be rescued by a big, fat ginger panda, and he's just going to roll around on top of you. Actually, that just sounds wrong. Uh, it's amazing these people just lie on the ground until someone picks them up and then suddenly they'll spring out of your hand. I'm just saying that perhaps they should keep an eye on their sailors. Because they're obviously lying lazy gits. See look, lying on the floor. I pick him up. I go through the smoke, I flatten the guy under my gigantic gut, which is probably mostly beer, and then he jumps up and walks away. Seriously? Not that badly injured, are we, mate? You could have just got up and, you know, walked. But now nah, that's too easy. I want to be, I want to be carried by a big fluffy panda. This isn't a day at the zoo. This is war, sir. Head smash! Not enough energy. Boom! Kick to the face! I do not have enough energy. Head smash! Not enough energy. Punch in the face. <laughs> Panda style kung fu. I do not have enough energy. That is still recharged. Head smash! Punch in the face. Punch in the face. Not enough energy. Hey, you are, have some beer and die. Have some beer and die. I believe that's the, uh, the slogan of Pandaria, have some beer and die. It's on all their tourist campaigns. Come to Pandaria, have some beer and die. It's always got that one really chirpy guy advertising it as well. I cannot catch him. I do not have enough energy. Not enough energy. I do not have a target. You're dead. Deal with it. I say the dwarf must provide beer. Not ready. More beer. I do not have enough energy. There you are, my dwarven friend. I hope you enjoy your drunken fight. Seven supply crates, and there's one behind this guy. I only need one more of these anyway. Beer to you, sir. Not enough energy. I do not 
have enough energy. There we go. And the last crate. Perfect synchronicity. Safety rails be damned. I am a panda. Alright, let's see what this... That ability is not ready. I still wonder, why is he carrying the pillar that broke his skull? Honestly. You are welcome among us, Pandaren. I have no idea what you be who you people are, but fate surely smiled on us this day. Many more would be dead if not for the help of you and your friends. I am in your debt. How are you now? When am I going to get that paid back? Never. You have our favor, Pandaren. Yeah, you know, I've also done a favor for the Horde, but we won't tell anyone. Did you find the boxes I spoke of? Well, they're kind of obvious. These will do perfectly. I'll get my medics to work immediately. Oh, we need to build some medivacs and we're sorted. I like a friendly face. My face isn't friendly, it's derpy. What do you need? You are a fear to behold upon the battlefield. Yeah, and you're an idiot for smashing your head off that pillow and then carrying it around like a trophy, but you don't hear me complaining. An ancient evil. Silas, I was looking for you. I just couldn't see because I have concussion. One of the escaping sailors just spotted Isa in the wreckage of the ship, facing some enormous beast. She might need your help. You should get to her quickly. She might need my help. In other words, I could turn Enough off of that. and I could be completely useless. That's what you're saying. Okay, fair enough. If you're sending me over here on a fool's errand, I will make a fool of you, sir. Not ready yet. For God's sake, I just want to roll into battle. Yeah. Have a beer! Thanks, Shenzhen Su, that you are here. I could use your help. But well, you got it for now, so deal with it. I do not have enough energy. Get clear when it raises its weapon. Not it's even energy. stronger than it looks. I do not have enough energy. You know, I'm the tank here, technically, by virtue of my plan. But so far, Isa's tanking, so we haven't got a problem. Not enough energy. I do not have enough energy. And smack it. Smack it a lot. Wow. That is some seriously strong knockback there. Thanks, man. I'll keep him busy while you handle them. Oh, so I've just got to kill the ants. Fair enough. I do not have enough energy. That girl is not ready. Not enough energy. Kill your friends. There we go. Feel the wrath of my chi. Starting zone soon. Cataclysm. 
The Worgen had that big thing in the Battle of Gilneas. And the Goblins had that big thing in the Lost Islands. And then we were a very similar model in Pandaria. I do not have enough energy. But I can remember when they got rid of the elite mobs from starting zones. They used to have a good scout. He was in the Motel area. And he was like a rite of passage getting a teleport. But that's just me waffling on that. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I want to kill it with beer. Kill it with beer. I, need I don't know what I would have done without you. It's good that you came. You probably would have been no better off with me. You tanked that thing and I am the tank class. So, come on, Isa, what we got? Nice dance moves, by the way. FYI, female Pandaren dances, caramel dancing. Just warning. In time, all answers become clear. Isa is clearly exhausted from the fight, but not too exhausted to dance. Your skills in battle are unquestionable, Monk. I have a name. You've known it since the start. Did you save the escaped prisoners? Where is G? Is he okay? Yeah, he may have gone Horde. It's kind of indicative because you're wearing blue, he's wearing red. It was kind of obvious from the start. And this is where we shall leave today's episode, I think. I think we've done quite well. We've defeated the elite monster. We've bonded over beer with the dwarves. So until Friday, I've been Silas. He's been a derpy ginger Pringles panda. And we'll see you next time.